There's so much opportunity in aging research for us to create novel solutions through technologies, new devices, to address the complex comorbidities that our aging population faces, whether it's frailty, cognition, or opportunity to improve resilience in our aging population. This is a remarkable time in history for the field of gerontology and engineering and for Johns Hopkins. With the launch of this enterprise, we aim to solve some of the most challenging aspects of aging. The possibilities are limitless. So here we are in the future home for the Aging and Engineering Alliance. We are really excited about this big space. It's a 10,000 square foot of space that we demolished and renovated. This space is going to be an ecosystem for engineers and clinician scientists to work shoulder to shoulder to create technologies to enhance independence as we age. The treadmill in the, the treadmill is actually right here. We walked through this space about nine months ago trying to envision how this could serve an entirely new purpose. So all of these areas that used to have walls covered with mirrors and you know the lighting that you typically see in a gymnasium, this space is totally being transformed now. The aging population is uniquely suited to benefit from this unique perspective of engineers and medical doctors coming together to think about the complexities and hopefully solve and identify streamlined, simple solutions. I think that together, engineering and medicine, collaborating in this way, can change the perception of aging from a time of decline to a time of fulfillment, a time of positive physical, mental, and spiritual well-being. I'm excited to take you and show you some of the transformation of the space and how we are going to use different areas. So if you come and follow me. So this is an area that if you can imagine, we will have a kitchen on this side, we will have a washing machine, we will have some uh, stoves, and we will have a fridge, we will have some couches in this area, and this is the area that we will be using to simulate activities of daily living. What is the setting looking like for older adults? This area, as you can see, is actually where all the students and postdocs and trainees will work together from both the engineering school and the School of Medicine. So they will be sitting here and they will have computer access, access to all the databases that they will need to test different technologies and different algorithms that enhance our ability to take care of patients. This huge area that used to be used for aerobics classes will now be used to study walk and gait so we can detect whether someone's at risk for falls. We'll still have treadmills, but now they'll be integrated with AI so we can collect data and understand better how to help people age independently and help them age in a healthy way. This collaboration has already been fruitful in driving additional collaborations and productive work between these groups. They have been training awards through T32 for both engineering and medicine postdoctoral students, K24 mentoring awards, as well as P30 large center awards that have been awarded because of this wonderful collaboration between engineers and medicine providers. This can only happen at Hopkins because many reasons. First, Hopkins is the home of the largest geriatrics and gerontology division in the nation that spans the spectrum from clinical to clinical translational to research to basic research all focused on aging. We also have a long-standing commitment to interdisciplinary collaboration so we have the human capital and research infrastructure to facilitate investigators and corporate partners from around the country to work in this space. This partnership is like building a bridge between two powerful islands. Just imagine harnessing the power of today's technology, wearable devices, data science, AI, bringing it all together with the greatest minds of medicine to improve the health of our older adults. 
As exciting as this is today to see the demolition having happened and these walls being taken down and new walls put up, I can't wait to see when this is finished. We're really looking forward to the grand opening of the space.